Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hi, this is problem one dash nine. Determine the resultant internal loading on cross section through point B through point D. Assume the reaction at support A and B are vertical. So this is the beam and loading is shown, and it is also given that support at ends are vertical. So find out the internal loading at point D. So for that we have to draw the free body diagram of this beam. So let me draw the free body diagram. That this is the beam. Clear. This is point. A, this is point B. The reaction at point A and point and point B are vertical reactions. Clear. So the reaction of this point B is B Y and the reaction at point A is A Y. At point at a distance of zero point five meter, there is a load of six kilo newton. That is vertically downward, and that is six kilo newton. Also, uh, from this point till three mm distance, that uh, this is three sorry three meter distance. There is a uniformly decreasing load. I will draw it as dotted line, and this load is three kilo newton. Per meter, this is point D, which is at a distance of 1.5 meter. Clear. So, in order to convert this three kilo newton into uh, point load, so what we will do is that we will multiply a uh, one over two into three multiply by this three, which is equal to 4.5 kilo newton. And this force will be acting at a distance of two meter from this side. That is also discussed in our previous uh, problem 1.8. So this distance is two mm. Because that from this side, it from this side, the lo load will be two l by three, and l is equal to three meter. So two into three divided by three is equal to Two meter, and from this side it will be one meter. Okay, so from this diagram we will find out the reaction forces. So let's start. Sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise moment is positive. So you can see at point A the moment due to this force B Y is B Y into perpendicular distance is. Three plus this is zero point five, and this is also zero point five. So total distance is four, and this producing counterclockwise moment, so it is positive. The second force which is producing moment about point A is this four point five kilonewton. So four point five multiply by perpendicular distance is one plus this one two, and this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative. Uh, force clear okay the third force which is producing moment is 6 kilo newton and it is also producing clockwise so minus 6 into perpendicular distance is 0.5 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get by is equal to 3 kilo newton clear you can also find ay by using Sum of all force along y direction is equal to zero, and taking upward is positive. So a y plus b y minus six minus four point five is equal to zero. So b y is equal to a y will uh, sorry uh, we have to find a y. So I will write a y is equal to ten minus b y. And B Y is equal to uh, not ten ten point five minus B Y so ten point five minus three is equal to seven point five kilo newton. That is also given in previous problem. A Y is equal to seven point five zero. Clear. 
now we have b y so we can take out the section at this point and we will draw the pre wire diagram to find the internal loading at point b so this is point d this is point b at point b there is a vertical load that is equal to 3 kilo newton clear at point when you cut the beam at point d there will be a shear force vc there will be a normal force nd sorry this is d and there will be a moment that is md also you can see when you cut the beam there will be a triangular load so what is the what will be the value of load at this point so at this point this load will be equal to 3 into x by l now x is equal to 1.5 so 3 into 1.5 divided by 3 is equal to 1.5 kilo newton per meter so the load here will be equal to i will draw it as dotted line so the value over here will be equal to 1.5 kilo newton per meter so when you convert this 1.5 kilo newton into per meter into concentrated load this distance is 1.5 so it will be equal to 1.5 multiply by this 1.5 divide by 2 clear and this load will be acting at a distance uh, from this dense uh, uh, lower side it will be acting at a distance of 2 l by 3 or from this it will be l by 3 so l is equal to 1.5 so 3 divide uh, 1.5 divided by 3 will be equal to 0 0.5 so from d it is zero at a distance of 0 0.5 meter now we have this free wire diagram so we can uh, find out the internal loading sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and taking force in this direction as positive so only the force acting horizontally is nb so n nd so nd is equal to zero the second condition of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and taking upward force is positive so from here you can see the force acting upward is vd the second force is acting downward which is equal to minus 1.5 multiply by 1.5 divided by 2 clear and the third force is acting upward which is plus 3 their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve it you will get vd is equal to minus 1.875 kilo newton so vd is negative so it means that our assumed direction of vd was wrong and vd should be downward the third equilibrium condition is that sum of all force along about point d is equal to zero and taking counterclockwise as positive so you can see this is point d at point d there is, is a reaction moment which is md and that is clockwise so md is equal to minus md clear one force which is producing movement about point d is this force and this is producing clockwise so it will be also negative so minus one over two into 1.5 multiply by 1.5 this is the value of force and the perpendicular distance is 0 0.5 clear the third force which is producing movement about point d is 3 kilo newton so 3 kilo newton into perpendicular distance is 1.5 and it is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so 3 into 1.5 all there is the sum of all these movement must be equal to 0 about point d so from here you can calculate md so the value of md comes out to be 3.93 3.93 kilo newton into meter so this these are the internal loading at point d so the normal stress is zero the shear stress is 1.875 that is downward and the movement about point D is 3.97 kilo newton. I hope it is clear to you now. Thank you.